Greetings. I have a new mission for you on behalf of the Republic. We have traced the Uridian freighter you rescued back to the Chaltok system. Years ago, the Chaltok system held a Romulan research facility studying Polaric energy. It was nearly destroyed in a Polaric energy explosion. Since then, a colony of Uridians has settled on the planet. Recently, it has become a hotbed of strife. This isn't the first incident we've had with the colony, and we suspect weapons smuggling is occurring. We have heard rumors of one weapons dealer in particular on Chaltok, a Riemann. We'd like to make sure that none of the weapons there are going to be turned against New Romulus. We need you to travel to the Chaltok system and investigate these allegations. And... And when we get pick up a, a quick reward, very nice, especially because it ties to your, your particular class, so and it's a random one, so you can't pick, get Darbenium the first time, which is pretty decent, is pretty slightly better than what you can, can get, go get in the moment. <laughs> of course, it's lithium, and then you have an option to pick only the. Um, I see it's which is pretty, is pretty decent for us, for some vessels, but if you particularly if you want to turn fast. So let's go to the shell talk system. We have a visual enemy ship, uh, the, the bit of don't see us. We can open name and figure season or we can not please the empty track. You know that. Anytime. We'll uh, help, hail them. <laughs> and figure of no response yet. We might be waiting to strike or make when we get closer. Continue. We're getting closer, and since we came in the sign up for a little while longer, I should point out that secret, there's a singularity investment which boosts our singularity gear. This singularity, okay, singularity powers are it's only two at the moment, but one of them basically is, is reduced damage, and the other one's because of a wave explosion. Finally, some proper sport. These scavengers have hardly been worth our time. But a ship like yours, that is a fine prize. Power up your weapons and engines. Make this a proper hunt. You can run or stand with your Klingon allies. Whatever you choose, you die. I may mean, about the colony. You know, we know you're getting weapons from them. Why would we need the worthless weapons of our cowardly prey? Your Klingon masters have sent you on a fool's errand. I think you'll find that the uh, sign of it is more than a match for you. Now you are starting to sound like a Klingon. Good. Let the hunt begin. I will let. Look. We'll take a few shots, but. Like the uh, I've got, yeah, we've also got a new. Incoming. More ships nearby, we deal with them for beating them down. Okay. Those are. And. Whoop. Oh, 
And we've And let a click on both play on t um let my KDF yes, play through the best trick trick with this special is to decluck and find for no one Realizing that, I probably need some like Klingon. Happy to take a little while to get going. That shows the king of the car. And that blow them out of the sky. There we are on the point of secure, sir. Drop it into standard orbit. Since we picked up a colony, an area near the colony site on the surface that being bought by our scans, they definitely had this of him. We'll beam him down close to the area. If I were you, I'd expect some to start a trap. Yeah. I'm going to bring you down the usual crew. Now you may not have got a new brit new engineer bridge officer, but you won't be so you're staying up. Just saying we were able to get a bit better than the colony went garden. The colony seems to be probably made up of Uridians. Not taking take detecting any uh, weapons. Our senses are still being jammed by stuff on the ground. The best information best option is to Let's go on college for information. Understood. And yeah. <laughs> oh, we were calling me. Got this one out. So I don't think you want to do anything really anything about this place. Well, yeah. we don't see the wrong public here. They can't, can't. It's nice, nothing unusual going on here. It was long gone, but we get going to Yeah, I think I might. Speak to this colonist. Well, I'm going to go past the gate. Go and speak to the Riemann. Yeah, so let's open the gate to find this Riemann. Yeah, let's go to the gate to find this Riemann. Latex, Twigs. Ah, another refugee of Romulus. Welcome. I am the leader of this small band. You may call me Lortrix. I assume you were behind destroying those Erogian ships around the planet. We're all very thankful for that. The Herogian have been bothering us for quite some time. I would hate to think what would have happened if you didn't arrive when you did. What did you hear on this colony? We mainly supply merchant ships with various minerals, and we have a small ore refining operation. It's not much, but it keeps us alive. The Herogen have been harassing us for quite some time, unfortunately. They want to use our facility to manufacture weapons. You and I both know what will come of that. And no one here wants to get involved in someone else's war. You understand, don't you? I believe you, Lotus. Couldn't seem safe. That is a relief. Look, why don't I show you around our colony, just to relieve any lingering doubts? I would love to establish a better relationship with you and the Romulan Republic. I hoped our location would allow us to remain neutral, but it doesn't seem like that is possible anymore, does it? Yeah. Talking to my chief engineer would be a good place for you to start. Talking to my chief engineer would be a good place for you to start. Very well. And no, he. He didn't miss. That's so let's. So, chief, chief engineer is. Uh, over here. Chief? Uh, hello. I'm the chief engineer around here. 
This colony is barely holding together. At night, I can hear the creaks and sparks of instruments as they crack in the coal. We need supplies. Solid, heavy-duty Empire supplies. Our replicator is barely working, and the heat systems are spotty at best. All of our energy goes toward keeping our mining equipment up to date. Still, I'd much rather be here than out there in the war, and I do hope you're here to ensure it stays that way. You can ask him, can you, you know, Tobin's big quest, which is basically look for one called when I care for, or you can ask, say, uh, or just not. I am, don't worry, wouldn't you have to have met a woman called Rihanna Kev, would you? It's okay. You don't have to keep asking. I appreciate your help on Gasco and the Suliban Helix, but Rina is gone. I need to accept that and move on. How far have we gone only to find no sign of her? It'd be better if I just learned to live with the loss, instead of chasing a foolish dream. Let's keep moving. Uh, I won't stop searching Tavern, I promise. And... There's a good reason for that. I have two few good reasons for that, but... I've mentioned in a future episode that it was called that router, but... Anyway, so let's get mm, this cargo. Got, got food. Some more. Okay, nothing we'd expect. Backs are closed. Nothing new you would expect around here. Well, there's someone who's a bit. Let's get this nearest to us, pal. Yes, strike on scan shows this a snow pal is not very bad. A tactical officer would figure out a way to use this to the advantage. And we try to uh, we decided to go to drop a I just bought a beacon within the snow here, so yeah, so we can now bring in a few bridge of uh, another few members of the crew if we need to. So, uh Mr. Ridian. What do you want? I, I'm not bothering anyone, I swear. Yeah. Yeah, it feels suspicious for someone not bothering anyone. I'm sorry. Look, they told me to send a message when you were done scanning the cargo. I, I don't know anything. I don't know why they told me that. All I know is that I see people using the consoles nearby. That's it. Don't cause any more trouble. So let's go find one of these consoles. And this is a big plasma grenade launcher. So let's get this to it. it was, uh, if you were an engineer, you would select. You could could have could have repair repair this uh, repair this uh, to it if you so wish, and. I believe it's somewhere around here there will be an option for a science officer somewhere. Well, which is this. So, let's head for computer. Unlock failed. If you just go to the camera circuit, the console will be hacked. Now, we need to get give someone a job. So we're gonna need to need to uh, sh first of all stick someone around about here. So, even you got a new job. Now let us activate this computer. Yeah. 
yeah, here is not in the right place. Let's put let's put everyone up up here. Yeah, this is basically a a Let's use our tripod to shoot the camera. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Yeah. Uh, Trackers picking up every country of electromagnetic. And going graduation for South Southeast Arctic. Going to this computer, the only building, the colony, only colony that is residential building. It's, I find that unlikely as the amount of radiation detected would be enough for most species. The hazards of them. We'll check it out. Prepare yourself. So let's go and find this building. They usually, that first would post it. Goes to this building here. And there must be a hidden door around it here somewhere. This looks like that should be here. There's a To be manifest, this co co this colony is supplying weapons to the Overton, receiving weapons from other colonies scattered around the neutral zone across the entire sector. And if the reset target information, some of these weapons could be used against Roman Republic friendly targets. Uh, the track causes out to low band substrate signal. I think I've seen this computer's record triggered something. No, it's to us. Yeah, let's we have them trapped in the warehouse. Excellent. Activate the transport inhibitors to stop them from beaming out. Very well. Do you have any further orders? Just stay out of our way while we subdue the prey. Right. Can't be out the disabled several dis transport inhibitors. So enable transport inhibitors. So no transporters, so we've got to fight our way out and this we enable our transporters. Well now onto have just dro dropped power mines. And that was just giving the giving the urgent a good kick. Come on, Beryl. We need to get to this console fixed. We're gonna disable the That's one way to disable it. Now, if we can do some of that, that's what's going to cut something we need to blow up. And that's what's over there, so. Yeah, let's. Get it out! Oof. 
Oof. Okay, now, if only we had a, um, some, some, some resistance. Yes, that's right. And they just blew up the, uh, blew up the uh, console, so let's, let's see what Lokes is going to say. Which is more way to Centurion. Okay. One can only walk here to out alive. Very self. Now. No here, no, no, not here. <laughs> You're good, very good. But do you think this will change anything? I spit on you and the Republic, traitors to your own people, to die like this. Why are you doing this? You terrorists, you care nothing. For the common people, the Talsha, they protect us, make us stronger. You either choose a side or you die. Surrounded by the dogs of war, supported, supported by no one. Even in death, I stand by my choice. Leave, leave me to die. Uh, uh, just what? Looks to sick, babe. So a uh, situation is developing. We're de detecting multiple um, ships on IWAP. That's a bit to be insisted in a few minutes. The yes, have to let the beam everyone back to the ship. Yes, let it beam up. Incoming fleet will be on us shortly. Reinforcements will, uh, will be here shortly, but not, not before we are under attack. The deactive to, to, to we could use that we could load it and help us out to so refresh us arrive. So there's a rapid fire missile to it up there. And yes. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Let's load this to it. Okay, that shows that that boom 
and that's a another kill by the Problem Shot Wave generated by a single out car. The glory of battle! I am lucky to be assigned to you. You know the joy of a good fight. Finish your business here. I will be patrolling for any stragglers. Understood. When you tripped our monitoring program, the Star Empire sent me to investigate. Our intel said you were part of the terrorist cell on Varanaut, but your actions here suggest otherwise. I'm here to make you an offer. Renounce your terrorist allies and come with me and fight for the glory of the Romulan Star Empire. I am authorized to grant you amnesty for your past crimes if you agree to serve the Empire again. If you agree, we would like you to remain within Deton's terrorist cell for the time being. He trusts you. The intel you could gather would be very valuable. The Empire rewards its loyal children well, but it also punishes its enemies. Consider your decision carefully. Johnny, I don't even know you. Charva. You can't trust her. I know her too well for that. We grew up together. I was her friend. Her... But that's all over. It ended the day she joined the Tall Shiar. Tall Shiar, that explains a lot. Hello again, Tovan. It's been too long since we were together. Yes, it is true that I am a member of the Tall Shiar. We are the last real protectors of the Romulan people. I have been monitoring this colony since before you arrived. Lortrix was a fool. This is what happens when you're not true to your allegiance. He was selling weapons to anyone who wanted to buy, with no thought to their allegiances. Just like Viranaut. In the end, it cost him everything. Your blood, your heritage, that's who you are, where you belong. Anything else is only temporary. I'm here to remind you and your captain of this truth. Now join us before it's too late. I'm not like Lotrix. I'm not side with Tashia. You don't understand yet, but you will. The Romulan Republic is a terrorist organization. Datan and his followers are inciting Romulans and Remans to take up arms against the legitimate government of the Romulan Star Empire. Think about it. The military and the Tal Shiar are the only means of guaranteeing security for those of us who survived the destruction. The military has the ships and the manpower. The Tal Shiar has the information and the intelligence network. This new homeworld Datan wants is an illusion. Why start over in contested space near the Federation and the Klingon Empire? Why would Deton choose a system in such a turbulent and dangerous area, unless he knew he could guarantee they wouldn't risk attacking him? He certainly isn't going to do that with pretty words. Lieutenant Peace and Man, the folk has ties with, with the Federation and the Klingon Empire. Deton may have you fooled, but don't just take my word for it. See for yourself. Why do you think that Chaltok is shipping weapons? And they're not the only colony world involved in those kinds of operations. You think that this sort of business wasn't going on elsewhere? Perhaps even on Veranaut, right under your nose. Okay. Deton's only showing you what he wants you to see. I can show you the things that the Republic is trying to hide. Believe me, or don't. You don't have to trust me. Just trust the evidence. When you are ready to learn more, I'll be ready to show you. We and Captain Herogen, I thought they worked for Tal Shiar. It's true. The Tal Shiar has employed Herogen contractors from time to time for certain tasks. But the Herogen are the Empress's allies, not her slaves. They are free to do what they wish. I don't trust you, and this conversation is over. The ship's got to work. Uh, our chief medical officer. Reports that Lotrix didn't make it. He attacked the medical team because they were the enemy. He was tentative for treatment, but he was far too gone. Do you want to talk, about, talk to Kev about the Tashi out? Yeah, yeah we're better do it now. There's a lot I have to say about Charva. 
As you may have guessed, we used to be quite close. There's a lot of history between us, but all that's really important is that we went separate ways. She thought that the tall Shi'ar could ensure security for our people, and I didn't. It's just bringing up a lot of old feelings. What do you know about Chava? As I mentioned, we have a turbulent past. We grew up together. Once, I thought we might have a future together. Those were in the dark years after the destruction of the homeworld. We survived, but it tore us apart. I just wanted to make a new start. She was convinced that nowhere was safe. She kept talking about working with the military or the tall Shi'ar. I argued that the only way we'd be safe was to be able to stand up for ourselves. There's a lot I have to say about Charva. What do you think of claims? Guessed, we... I don't believe Datan is a terrorist. I think he's an idealist who's trying to come to terms with the chaos. Datan would never knowingly sanction violence, especially against innocents. He doesn't even like us fighting the Tal Shi'ar, although he sees the need. But Datan isn't the only person making decisions in the Republic. Maybe there are some people who see the Republic as their chance to have a little revenge. I don't know. Okay. Let's continue. I think Charva is wrong about Tatan and the Republic, but that doesn't mean it's outside the bounds of possibility that someone has taken things too far, or has a secret program that Tatan doesn't know about. If she knows something that we don't, we should try to find out what it is. Indeed. There's a lot I have to say about Charva. Can we trust her? Charva's not a bad person. At least she wasn't. But she is misguided. She's turned a blind eye to the excesses of the Tall Shi'ar, and she probably doesn't even know about most of them. The Tall Shi'ar are masters of propaganda, after all. I think that anything she tells us is going to be something that the Tall Shi'ar wants us to hear. We should gather our own evidence, and draw our own conclusions. There's a lot I have to say about Charva. As you may have guessed... Alright, let's depart system. <laughs> Your findings are distressing. I'll pass this along to Republic Command. As for Charva, I think the best course of action right now is to wait for her next move. If she's really desperate to make her case, she'll contact you again. If she does, keep me informed. Nadell out. And now this time we because we get we get the experience points, expertise, a kit module, and some. And some reinforced armor. And the cost is lithium. And our choice of the pack is the RCS Accelerate uh, which increases our turn speed and belongs in the end of the demon slot. And that is going to be eight of them. This is the random pack of our. our. our kit module. Time is Congratulations, our particular kit module is the stun grenade, and we have a kit mod kit itself, which this one gives ourselves a bit more shield hardness, which is very useful f at this time in time in the ga game. And we now have both two a stun grenade, which will basically stun enemies that went and set around. And that is going to be it for this week. Now, normally we will be doing a we've got a special, usually a special event bringing coming out in the next few days. We'll this will be we're covering that on Thursday. But until and we'll see what and we'll see what Trevor's got planned for us next week. <laughs>